Hey everybody, Steve DeCasa here. Okay, this video is about sequence settings. Um, it's about figuring out, you know, if what your sequence settings are as opposed to your media settings and how you can match them up. Now, if you have the up-to-date up version of Final Cut, this will automatically happen. And let me show you that m automatic message. So, right here I have two projects. I have this project down here is called How to Date an Asian Woman and it's in 24 frames a second and I can show you that. We come over here and I advance the frames forward. Take a look at this right here. It's going to say 20, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Just demonstrate. And then see 23, 24 frames in one second. I also have another project. Where's my mouse? Another project. Right now it's just called Sequence 1. But this is a music video. And you can see that over here is a little music music video stuff going on. Now the music video is not, I'm hitting the wrong button, music video is not 24p. You can see this right here, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, so this is 30. Even though I shot it in the 24p look, you can see that it is not actually 24p in the sequence. Now, what were to happen if I were to take a shot from the video, the bomber's video, let's say this guy, which is 30 frames a second, and put it into the 24 frame a second sequence. Now, if your sequence is empty, so let's delete all of this. If your sequence is already empty, don't worry, I'll undo that later. Your sequence is empty, and I come over here, I can never find my mouse, and I drop it in into an empty sequence. This is 24p, this is 30, even though it looks like 24p because it's a look you get this message right here. For best performance, your sequence and external video should be set to the format of the clips you're editing. Change the sequence settings to match the clip settings. Right now I'm gonna hit no, because I don't wanna do that. But you're gonna get this message. Oops. So you're gonna get, you're gonna get this message if this happens. And usually, if you're up to date, if you have the up to date version, you, you can hit yes. If you don't have an up to date version, you need to do some other stuff. So let's, bring that back so I don't lose that. Now, how long has this video been so far? This video has been two and a half minutes. So I think I'm going to do a part two. Part two, next video, is going to be, if you don't, if you can't match it up, I mean, if you don't get that message that matches them up automatically, I can show you where you can go to view those settings for each clip and to manually switch them. It's kind of tricky. And it doesn't always work. So like I always say, or like I have said, upgrade your final cut. So stay tuned for part two.